Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Play's Old Ass Games. Our museum has been open for a little while now. It's by invitation only, and it's very soft opening, very practice runnish. But still, even then, with the very few people that we've had coming through, there's one thing that everybody kept com keeps commenting about. Do you have that Mattel handheld football game? Well, we didn't. Now we do. In fact, we have three of them. We have the original Mattel football game. Basically, just the basic football game everybody's played way back in the day, probably in the 80s. This was made in 1977. Mm, yes. And I remember playing the hell out of this when I was a kid. My grandparents had one of these. But this is the original one. And it kind of works. I don't keep the batteries in it because, one, we're missing the battery cover, and two, the battery cable needs a little TLC with a soldering iron. Later on, because of its massive popularity, like crazy popularity, they actually canceled production after 100,000 of these things because they didn't think it would be so popular. They restarted production shortly thereafter because they were way wrong and started selling like 400,000 a week. So I somehow doubt these things are terribly rare, but they were incredibly popular, so fairly important. So in 2000, they remade this. As you can see, it says classic football up at the top instead of Mattel Electronics. And it has football down here where it says Mattel here. So that's how you can tell the, the replica as opposed to the original. And there were two versions of the original even. The way you can tell is the outlines here aren't there anymore. Like the little football guy outline here isn't there anymore. And instead of football, it says football one because they did make a football two. Also, there is an external power jack in the original football, whereas it's purely battery operated when it's in football one. Bloop. Now outside of that, there's not much difference with the remake, the 2000 remake, except it has a sound off switch and a sound on switch. Outside of that, it works pretty much identical. I've played this one and I've played that one. And while the original one is actually easier to see, that might just be because the LCD screen on this one might be a little eh, or it's because I'm under giant studio lights at the moment. I'm not sure. But it's playable and it reminds me of the game that I could never really play all that well back in the day. So it works. We also have a third one. This is slightly a little different. From what I can tell, it was made in 2005. I haven't found any information on it specifically, but it's copyright notice on the back it says 2005. It is Mattel Classic Sports. And as you can see, it's definitely slightly different. So we have three games. We have the football, we have basketball, and we have baseball. So these three were three of the games that Mattel sold handheld. We have buttons for each of them. We have the off pro one and pro two so two difficulty levels and obviously an off switch and then we have the switch to select between the three games now the big difference with this is the cable coming out the top of it it is a video cable a standard video cable composite video cable that if we turn it on we can see it actually plays holy crap and we can see that it's just basically classic football, but more colorful, has music, which it didn't have before, which I can actually turn off and turn back on. There it goes. <laughs> I was going to say it didn't turn back on. And you played it by just trying to get from the left side to the right side. And it played pretty much just like regular American football. So not terribly different. You start out and you just have to run to the other side of the field without getting tackled. And if you get tackled, like I just was, you just hike the ball again and uh, try to outrun whoop, the other players, which doesn't seem to work out that all that well for me because, well, I'm just not good at it. 
but you can psych out the computer, which I thought was really cool. Get everybody down to one side, and it takes them a minute to get back up to the other side. But they are pretty fast. But it plays just like regular football, so you have 10 yards to get to, you know, before you can reset to first down. You have the field position in the center. You have yards to go on the right there. Uh, down at the bottom is the score, the home, and the visitor team. The time remaining, which is 13.6 seconds. And yeah, it just counts. But it only counts when you're actually playing. I trapped myself there. Not good at football. But you have to loop through the screen a couple of times before you can get the whole way down to where you need to be to get a score because each yard is, or each line is one yard. And that's not terribly surprising, I would say. I mean, kind of makes sense, right? But yeah, so everybody would play like endless hours of this from what I've seen. So let's flip it over to one of the other games, which technically these games aren't part of this, you know, aren't the focus of this video, but they exist in the handheld, so let's go over them. Switch over to basketball, which I've been trying to figure out how to play, and I'm very confused. So I hit uh, shoots, and then the ball blinks, and then it beeps at me, and I don't know. Obviously, you don't get tackled in the game because, well, it's basketball, not football. Shoot. And I have no idea what the crap is going on. And I can get close to the basket and then shoot. But it doesn't do anything. At least not that I can figure out how to play. But I don't have the original instructions for the game. I only have this. Okay, I'm on the freaking basket. Hey, I made a basket! Two points. Nice. I thought you only got one point if you were, like, doing a slam dunk or something like that. So you have to get around the guys. I can't figure out how to shoot. Woo, come on. Nope. All right, time's up. All right, never mind. Let's flip over to baseball. You can tell the music's even changing. It's pretty interesting. But what what's interesting about this one? Okay, so we use the pitch button and the hit button, as far as I can tell, and the run button, but we don't use the arrow buttons. So if we hit pitch, he'll throw the ball. And I think, one, I think that dot that's flying down the, down or flying over the plate is the ball that I have to hit. And I think I have to time it right so that the ball is over the home plate when I push the hit button, or at least somewhere close to it. I'm not sure. But I cannot for the life of me, get this thing to work. And I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried. Come on, pitch. Thank you. Yeah, it just makes noise. I get struck out. And, but I think I know what's going on. I think I have an idea of what the problem is. I mean, look how fast that ball's going over the plate. I mean, I know... In professional baseball, the ball can be going, you know, 70, 80, 90, 100 plus miles an hour. But that's over a much longer area. And those people are, you know, the people that are trying to hit the balls are also professionals. And it just it doesn't work all that well. So let's sit it down. But playing the football game in the classic sports as opposed to classic football or the original I found out that playing the football, which is what I have to compare to anyways, is significantly faster. Hey, I touched, did it, or got a touchdown, yay. Boop. And now I play as the other side and play going the other way, which is cool. And you can play as the other team. I guess you don't get a chance for a field goal, but how would you do a field goal in this game? be quite kind of difficult, wouldn't it? Come on, come on, come on. Nope, I got tackled. All right. Um, so yes, football runs significantly faster in this version of the game as opposed to the other two versions of the game. So that's why I think baseball 
is such a pain in the butt, and possibly even basketball is such a pain in the butt, because they're running too fast for the game. They're going too quickly. So yeah, that is Mattel Electronics Football, Classic Football, and Mattel Classic Sports. I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game and have fun.